Hi, my name's Tom, I'm the Dusty Builder. Today we're gonna to install a code approved exterior outlet. Stick around, I'll show you how I do it. So for today we're gonna to put uh, an outlet box outside and we have our outlet box for wet locations. We have our weatherproof in use cover so we can plug a cord in while it's still covered, keep the uh, water away. We've got a hot tester, we have a little doggy, um, we got some wire strippers, needle nose pliers, some screwdrivers, we got a Phillips and a flathead, of course we got some silicone, and we have an outlet. The outlet that we're using says right on there, weather and tamper resistant outlet, and on the outlet itself it says WR, and it's standing for weather resistant. So you probably noticed by now that this is not a GFI outlet. And that is correct. This is just a regular outlet, but it is GFI protected. So there's a few different ways to do that. Uh, the first way is to have uh, a GFI circuit breaker wherever your circuit panel is. Um, if your circuit breaker is a GFI circuit breaker, it protects everything on that circuit. Um, those are expensive, so that's why I didn't do that. Um, the way that I protected this one is the first outlet that is in the mudroom that's a GFI outlet so everything downstream from that outlet will be GFI protected and that's what I did in this case so instead of having a, a GFI here and exposed to the weather and bugs get inside of them and cobwebs um, I just chose to have the, the expensive outlet inside and to use a cheaper outlet outside uh, if something does happen to it I can replace it it's just a couple bucks no big deal all right, before we're working on power, we want to make sure that it's off, and this should be on. Oop, so it's hot, so it's good. So we're going to shut it off. All right, so now we're coming back and checking, and we're good. Now it's off. So all I'm checking is the black. These are the hot wires. So we're good. So we are now going to mount our outlet box. For wet locations and you see that there's a, a hole on top there's a hole on the bottom and there's a hole in the back depends uh, where the electrical wire is coming from so in this case ours is coming from the back the outlet box also comes with plugs for areas that you're not using so a lot of times I'll put silicone on the threads and um, then screw them in so they're waterproof and then a little silicone on the back, just the top and the sides, just in case water does get there. Water can still drain out the bottom, just like caulking a window. Now we just install the wires on the outlet just like we would if the outlet was inside. Now I don't wrap this outlet with electrical tape. Um, you could argue that it could help keep water out, but I guess I would say if water does get in there, then the electrical tape would probably prevent it from drying, so I left it off. I'm not getting super in depth on exactly how to wire the outlet. You wire the outlet the same as an interior outlet, so the black or the hots are going to go to the gold, or in this case the black screw, and the white wires are going to go to the silver screws. Uh, for the ground wire, uh, you braid it together and then I like to use a, a crimp. I like to use a copper crimp to secure them together. Okay, we have our in-use weather cover. Let's open it up, see what it looks like here. So this right now, it's set for uh, GFI. Um, so again, we have the GFI inside, so we're gonna put this on instead. We're gonna pop that out. So that pops out. We're gonna pop this one in. So 
Sweet. Now we can install this right over the outlet. All right, so we're gonna install the cover and we, we want it really loose like this. We want these screws kind of sticking out because the screws are gonna come through this bigger hole here and we're gonna slide it over. So, you hear the dog panning in the background. Slide, o slide on over and we'll get this top one to slide over. There we go. So it's mounted, it's just very loose. So now we gotta cinch it down. And when we cinch it down, this gasket, this gasket is gonna seal to the outlet box. And we're also gonna put a fine bead of silicone on here just to make sure that um, it's for sure waterproof. Moving the location of the door is really easy. There's a little plastic pin, you just push it out, remove it, and the door comes right off. And then there's another little hinge location on the side of the outlet box if you want it to open from the side, which I did. Now, you may be tempted to try to recess this outlet box by cutting a hole in your siding. Um, I don't like that for a few different reasons. The main reason is it's a great way for cold air to go into the house. I live in Michigan. I'm trying to keep cold air in the winter out of the house. Um, another reason I don't like that is you cut a nice big hole in the side of your house. It's a good, great way for bugs to get in. So I just like a small hole that the wire can come out and I like a nice flat piece of um, PVC or wood for the outlet box to sit on. So the siding on my house, I have a wood sided house and this type of installation would be perfect again for a wood sided house or a board and batten house or a, a brick house. This would be, I would install things just the same. Things get a little bit different with vinyl siding. I'm not a vinyl siding expert, but there are many different options available. But again, I would advise against cutting holes in the side of the house. I just think it's bad practice. Thank you for taking the time and watching. Hopefully this helps someone out there and I'll see you next time.